Keep your eyes closed. Slowly begin to exhale your breath all the way. Breathe in through your nostrils. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch your arms over your head, please. Reach up to your fingertips. Bring your hands to your heart, side out, let it go. Keep your eyes closed. Take a few rounds of breath on your own, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. See if you can deepen the breath even more, looking to take fullest, deepest breath you can in. The most complete breath out. If you haven't already, begin to add that sound quality to your breath, making the breath more intentional through the use of sound. Your vocal cords will vibrate with sensation. You can hear the breath as a loud whisper or the distant sound of the ocean as it flows in and out and fills the space around you. This is the breath we'll use throughout the practice. See if you can maintain it as best you can. Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale for Om. Om. Keep the eyes open, come forward onto your hands and knees. This is the second classroom where I kind of forgot to mention the theme before class. I don't know what's going on, but we'll come onto our hands and knees. And just a quick overview of today's theme are the acts of creation. Oh, who's that, Sammy? The acts of creation is really cute. Are these five acts that are constantly in flux around us and within us? So just a reminder that. You know, whenever we have a thought, whenever we see uh, an endeavor being taken, act around us, it's usually going through one of these five acts, which are creation, maintenance, dissolution, concealment, and revelation. So when we practice yoga, I really kind of focus on the first three today, although we might touch on the last two. We create a shape, we maintain the pose, and we dissolve the pose, we let it go. Just as we've created a thought or a pattern that maybe we maintain 
And with our practice, we help to let it go. So we're looking to find examples of these three acts of creation and see how they affect our practice. Spread your fingers wide, please. Lift up onto your knuckles, lift the heel of your palms, press down through your knuckles and your finger pad. Lower your palms back down. Let's go again, lift your palms up and lower your palms down. Palms lift and lower, palms lift and lower. We'll go five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna come up onto our fingertips. So you're still palms down, you're gonna press into your fingertips and lift your palms up, come onto your fingertips, and lower your fingertips down. We'll do that a few times. Fingertips, palms, fingertips, palms, going five, four, three, two, and one. Stay on your fingertips, please. Chin to your chest, cat pose your spine. Really pushing down through your fingertips. You'll thank me for it later. Your hands will get a lot stronger. Grip the mat with your finger pads as you cat pose your spine. As if you're trying to scrunch up the mat underneath your hands. Keep that inhale, cow pose. Thighs back and chest lifted. Exhale and cat pose. Chin to chest, tailbone. Inhale and cow pose. Drop your belly. One more time. Exhale and cat pose. Inhale and cow pose. Please come back to a neutral spine. Turn your palms face up. Point your fingers in and towards each other. Wiggle your fingers and roll out your thumbs. Keep pressing down to the backs of your hands and rock it out side to side. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Side to side a couple of times. Pressing down and rock it out. Turn your palms face down and point your fingers back towards your thighs, please. Shift your weight forward a little bit. Cat pose your spine, chin to your chest. Tuck the tailbone, round into it. Shift your weight back, inhale, cow pose your spine. Move your hips to your heels, lift into your chest. Press your thighs down. Ooh, that feels good. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, rock it forward. Inhale, cow pose, hips move back, open your arms. One more time, exhale, cat pose. Inhale and cow pose. Sit all the way back onto the tops of your feet, please. You can stay right here just as you are with this deep reflection, or you can lean back, hands come back next to your heels. Maybe the feet will lift up. Oh, that is something special right there. Hug shins in, tone thighs, weight through your hips a little bit more, and lower your knees back down. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Come onto your hands and knees, please. Spread your fingers wide. Reach your left hand out towards your left. Stretch out through your fingertips. And thread your left hand underneath you. We're gonna land all the way down on the back of our left shoulder, down onto the left side of the head. Now walk your right hand forward to the top of the mat. Stretch through your left fingertips, roll your right your cage right shoulder back. Think about toning your thighs so making your legs a little more active. Hug your shins in and spin your inner thighs back more. Don't lose that broadening of the hips. Move your hips a little bit over to your left. Pull the navel in. Last breath, big twist, look up. Place the right hand back down, right in front of the face. Push down through your right hand, please, and sweep your left arm up to the sky. Step your left foot back into a nice supported side plank pose. Just for a breath, reach forward, press through your right hand, reach to your left fingertips. Bring your left knee into your chest, step your left foot the top of the mat, please. Keep reaching forward through your left fingertips. Inhale, lunge. 
and drop your left elbow down towards the ground just inside your left ankle. Inhale, take your left arm up to the sky. Look up and lean back. Exhale, left elbow comes down to tap it. Inhale, open it up. Lean back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, open it up. Lean back. And exhale, take it down. Inhale, open it up. Lean back. One more time. Exhale, take it down. Oh, that feels really good. Inhale and open it up. Tuck your back toes. Uh, you can actually keep your back knee down if you want. I'm going to lift mine up. Straighten your front leg. Place your left hand down on the ground. Back knee can be up or down your choice. Make sure your legs remain active, though. Your legs are actively uh, engaged. Your quads are flexed. Hugging the midline with the shins and pressing out through your feet. Take your left hand underneath your left shoulder, and you're going to take your right arm, circle it back next to your right hip. Maybe this is where you stay. If you can, press out through your feet. Take your right arm up to the sky. Let's just hold it here for a breath. Circle the right arm forward and place it back down. You'll circle your left arm forward now. Left arm will circle up to the sky. Reach it back behind you. Place it back down on the ground. Open your right arm back, reach it back, reach it up to the sky. Oh, and place it down. Left arm reaches forward. Circle it up. Reach it back behind you. Place it back down on the ground. Last time, right arm reaches back, reaches up to the sky. Strong legs, reaches forward. Place it down, left arm circles forward, circles back. Place your left hand down and step back, downward facing dog. Left leg will lift up to the sky, please. Left leg is lifted, both legs are active. Press through your hands, inhale, lift your left leg up. And we'll go left knee to left shoulder, exhale, rock forward. Tap your outer left arm, lift your knee up nice and high. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, left knee to left shoulder. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, left knee to left shoulder. Stay in plank pose. Re-extend your left leg out behind you. Stay in plank pose. Reach your right hand forward and lift your left leg up for three, if you want to bring your right knee down for support, you can. Lift everything up high, two. One, place your right hand down, lower your left foot down, lower chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Nice job, everybody. Please lower your knees back down to the ground. Reach your right arm out to the right. Thread your right arm underneath you. Come to land on the back of your right shoulder, please. Push down through your right, uh, left hand, sorry. Reach out through your right fingertips. Make your legs active, broaden your hips. Move your hips to the right. Draw your navel in and twist it out. You can walk your left hand forward. Bring your left hand back down and reach your right arm up to the sky. Stepping your right foot back for a supported side plank pose. Big breath in, reach forward, look forward. Step your right foot all the way to the top of the mat. Reach forward through your right fingertips, lower your right elbow towards the ground. Inhale, open it up. Stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, right elbow. Press the elbow, inhale, open it up. Exhale, right elbow comes down. Really deepen that lunge. Inhale, right elbow 
opens up. Keep the lunge active. Squeeze the left glute. Two more. Right elbow taps. Press to the right elbow. Inhale. Open it up. Lean back. Big twist. Right elbow taps. Inhale. Open it up. Place your right hand back down on the ground. Pick up your back knee if you can and straighten your legs. Pause in this long-legged pyramid pose for a second. Make your legs active. Tone your thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Press out through your feet and just stretch for a moment. It should feel really good. Stretch through your legs. You can shake it out. Move it around if you want to. Eventually, you'll walk your hands in right underneath your shoulders. Keep your legs really strong and active. As in quads. Uh, quads and legs flex, drawing thighs to hips. You should feel the muscles in the legs supporting you. Reach your left hand back alongside your hip. Circle your left arm up and just pause here for this first one. Press to your feet, press to your right hand, reach up to your left fingertips. Circle that left arm forward and place it back down. Now we'll do the right arm. Right arm reaches forward, circles up and reaches back. Placing the right hand back down. Let's go inside of the ankle. Left arm circles back, circles up, and comes back down. Right arm circles forward, circles up, comes right back down. One more time. Left hand circles back, circles up, twist it open. Place your left hand down. Right arm circles forward, circles back. Place your right hand down. Sweep your right leg back. Three-legged dog, right leg goes up, lifts to your inner right thigh, stretch through both legs. Right knee to right shoulder, rock forward, tap your upper arm, lift your knee up nice and high. Inhale, send it up and back. Right knee to right shoulder, rock forward, tap your upper arm. Inhale, send it back. Right knee, right shoulder, tap your arm, hold the plank pose, extend your right leg back. Still in plank pose, reach your left arm forward. If you want to bring your knee down, you can. Lift everything up high for three, two, and one. Both hands down lower, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale, press your feet down, your chest forward. Nice, everyone. Downward dog. Exhale. Shake it out a little bit. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. I'm going to do that walking split action. This time, uh, actually, let's do the same thing. Left foot steps just forward of the right foot, please. And then lift the right leg up nice and high. Right foot steps just forward of the left foot. Left leg lifts up really high, lift the inner left thigh. Left foot steps just forward of the right foot. Right foot lifts up, press to your hands, lift. Right foot steps forward of the left foot. Let's do one more. Left leg lifts up. Left foot steps between your hands. Right leg lifts up. Right foot steps next to left foot. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up halfway, lengthen into your spine. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Straighten your legs as best you can. Rise to standing, take your arms up. Grab a hold of your right wrist, side bend over to your left side. So tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly in and stretch. Press to your feet, reach out to your fingertips. Inhale, come back up. Grab a hold of your left wrist, same thing, other side. Press to your feet, stretch out to your fingertips. Three. Inhale, come back up. Let's cactus your arms, a little bit of the back bend here. Elbows wide, shoulders down the back. Puff up into the chest and curl it back. Inhale, chair pose. Reach your arms down, bend your knees. Hug your shins in, spin your inner thighs down. Draw your navel in, lift your chest, sit a little bit deeper. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Lift up halfway, please lengthen. You could plant the hand and step or hop back, so your choice. 
Hands come down, lean forward, step or hop back, chaturanga. Nice. Take it back when you're ready. Good, Sammy. Inhale, cobra pose, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please lift your right leg to the sky. Lift it up, stretch it up and back. Right foot steps forward of the left foot. You start to lift the leg a little higher. Lift through the left leg, inner left thigh lifts. Left foot steps in front of the right foot. Right leg lifts up. Right foot steps forward to the left foot. Left leg lifts up. Left foot steps forward to the right foot. One more right leg lifts. Right foot steps between the hands. Left leg lifts. Left foot steps next to right foot. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Side bend to your right side. Grab your left wrist, draw your belly in, stretch. Inhale, come up, switch sides, please. Press through your feet, side stretch. Back up through center and cactus your arms. Elbows wide, heart lifted, a little bit of a back. Chair pose, inhale, reach your arms up and your knees. Hug your shins in, spin your thighs down, get low and fold, exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. Plant the hand, step or hop back. Take it back, chaturanga. Please lean forward, take it back. Nice, good, Monica, good calling. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward. We're gonna land with our feet just wider than the hands so you can step one foot at a time or hop both feet forward and wide to a squat. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop feet wide, squat. Squeeze your heels together, move your thighs apart. Let's just take three breaths here. Press down into your feet. Lift up into your chest. One more breath. Place the hands down. Lift your hips up. Forward fold. Keep the feet nice and wide. Bend your knees. Bring your chin to your chest and roll your way up to standing, please. Big stretch. Take your arms up to the sky. Reach up. Stretch back a little bit. We're going to come right back down into a squat. Bring your elbows to your thighs. Place your hands then on the ground. Step your right foot back behind you. Big step back. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Sweep your left arm up and back. Grab a hold of your right foot, please. Squeeze your heel into your bone. Quite a bit. Lean that right heel towards your outer right hip. Squeeze the right glute. Deep in your lunge and lean back a little bit more, working the twist as well. Release the right foot, circle your left arm around. You're gonna turn to your right side, coming into a skandasa. Right knee bending and left leg extended. Squeeze your heels together, please. Draw your uh, thighs towards your hips. And from your hips, press out through your legs. See if you can really stretch out through your legs here and drop your hips low. Legs are active, tone your thighs, heels and thighs draw in, pressing through the feet for a stretch. Nice, everyone. One more breath here, press through your feet, lift through your chest, place the hands down, walk your hands forward all the way back to the top of the mat, left hand coming down inside of your left ankle, sweep your right arm forward, side angle pose. Make your back leg really strong, Press through your right thigh and wrap your left tip underneath you. Strong and active legs, roll your right rib cage back. Deepen your lunge, press through your feet. Nice, my friends. Keep wrapping the left hip back, drawing the belly in, lengthen through the low back. Press through your feet to extend it. One more breath, maybe peek up. Let's straighten the left leg. 
reach your right arm up to the sky, triangle pose. Both feet flat on the ground, right toes turned in, outer, uh, inner right thigh pressing back, outer left hip wrapping under. Press through your feet, extend through your side body. Find a little more rotation here. Turn the chest up. Reach your right arm forward again. Just get really long through the right side. Belly in, glutes engaged. Wrap your right arm behind your back, please. Walk your left hand forward, half moon pose. Let's lift the right leg up, Ardha Chandrasana. Circle the right arm forward again. Let's get really long through the right side body. Place the right fingertips down as far out in front of you as you can. But keep that side side bend sort of action. Then bend your right knee and squeeze your heel into your bum. Look up through your right armpit again, long and stretch to the right side body. Squeezing your heel to your bum, rolling your right shoulder back, making your left leg really strong. One more breath. We'll take it back to a, a squat position. So a goddess pose, step your right foot back, come up, heels in, toes out hands to your heart. Drop it like it's hot. Get it low. Let's take a few breaths here. Hands to your thighs. Drop your right shoulder in. Little shoulder. Work the shoulders. Work the shoulders. Yeah. Lift the shoulder up. Left shoulder. Dips. Give them that shoulder. Ooh, that feels good. Right shoulder dips. Left shoulder dips. Right shoulder dips, one more time. Left shoulder dips. This time, as the left shoulder dips, pause. Go ahead and place your left hand down on the ground right underneath you. Keep the legs in this squat. Open your right arm up to the sky. It's kind of this weird twisting motion. Knees wide, hips low. Try to stack your shoulders as best you can. We're gonna sweep the right fingertips down to the ground. Turn all the way to face forward, drop your right knee down, take both arms up, Anjane Asana. Knee and lean lunge, stretch up through your fingertips, squeeze into the glutes, press through your feet. Nice big stretch up and back. Release the hands down to the ground. Wouldn't it be the same unless we finish with a side plank pose? Press through your right hand, take your left foot to meet your right foot. Side plank pose. Bring your left knee into your chest. Grab a hold of your left foot with your left hand. And then start to stretch your left leg out to the right as best you can. Nice, everyone. For now, that's good. Step it back and lower down, chaturanga. Very good, my friends. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward dog. Exhale, lift up to your tippiest of toes. Bend your knees, look forward, please. We're gonna land with our feet wider than the hands. Hop it forward, step it forward to a squat. Inhale, lift into your chest. Let's do one more fold. Exhale, lift your hips, straighten your legs. Keep your feet wide, roll your way up to standing. Reach your arms up, stretch back a little bit. Bring your hands to your heart, your elbows to your thighs. Place your hands down between your feet, step your right, uh, left foot back. Right foot is forward, left leg is back. Drop your left knee, reach your right arm back and grab your foot. Squeeze your left heel to your outer left hip. Squeeze your left glute. Stretch through your legs, deep in your lunge as best you can. So you'll notice, I don't know if you can tell that much in the angle of the camera, but if my right knee is going out wide to the right, it's making my, it's really affecting the movement and placement of my hips and pelvis here. Hug your right thigh in. Notice how that shifts your weight from, let's say the outer left knee back to the top of the thigh. Squeeze your thighs towards the hips. Deepen your lunge. Keep hugging the right thigh and roll your right shoulder back. Release the back foot, turn it all the way around, skandhasana. Left knee bending, right leg extending. Let's breathe, we'll be here for a few breaths. Tone your thighs, 
Squeeze heels together, drop thighs to hips, please. Keep lifting through the pelvic floor, press your left knee wider, press out through your feet. Breathe. Press through your feet, active legs, active extension. Sit your hips a little bit lower, almost even to the ground if you can. Stay nice and low. We'll come forward, side angle pose. Right hand to the inside of the right ankle. Left arm reaches forward. Pause and breathe. Work on twisting your torso. So in order to really safely and stably twist, please draw your navel in and fill up into your back body a little bit so that we're not twisting from, let's say, the low back. Belly in. Now we can twist the whole trunk from the waist start right up above the, uh, the navel point. It's going to make the whole spine move more freely. So tone your thighs. Press your left thigh back. Wrap your outer right hip underneath you. Don't lose that. Press through your feet to deepen your lunge. Reach forward, twist, roll your left rib cage back. But draw your belly in. One more breath. Start to straighten your right leg, reach your left arm up, triangle pose. You can bring your right hand to your ankle or your shin or keep it right where it is. Make sure your back toes are turned in. Inner left thigh spins back, outer right hip wraps under. Tone your thighs, drop thighs to hips. Press out through your feet, stretch out through your fingertips. Reach forward through your left hand. Belly in, keep the back body full. Look up, wrap your left hand behind your back. Walk your right hand forward, calf moon pose, lift it up. Tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Stretch out through your legs. Circle your left arm all the way back around, up and over your head. Reach your left fingertips forward until they get to the ground over to your right side. Really long through your left side body. Bend your left knee and squeeze your heel through your bum. Keep twisting, leaning back. If you can, good, Colleen. Nice, Jeff. Look underneath your left armpit. Make your right leg really strong. Lift your kneecap, flex your thigh. Squeeze your glutes. Big step back with your left foot. Goddess pose, heels in, toes out. Hands to your heart, get low. We're gonna go right into the twisting action. Let's place the hands on the thighs. We'll do one round, dip your left shoulder. Dip your right shoulder. Place your right hand down on the ground, right underneath you. Open your left arm up to the sky. Keep the twist or keep twisting as best you can. Try to stack your shoulders. Legs stay wide. Left fingertips come down. Turn forward. Drop your left knee. Reach your arms up. Anjaneyasana, kneeling lunge. Facing forward, left knee down, right foot forward. Big stretch up and back. Release the hands down. Side plank to your left side. Right arm goes up, right foot steps back. Pause and breathe. Press through your left hand a lot, spin your left bicep forward. You're gonna bring your right knee into your chest, grab a hold of your right big toe, and as best you can, extend your right leg out to the right. We'll hold for three, two, step it back, one, lower, chaturanga. Nice job, everybody. Cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Hop the feet wider than the hands. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. Palms squeeze together, lift into your chest. Go ahead and keep the feet wide. Exhale, fold in. A little bit of a bend in the knees. Spin your thighs back. Stretch out through your knuckles. Press through your feet. Stretch the knuckles up and over your head. Really nice big shoulder opener. If you can get there, please. Shoulder extension as you open up. We'll bring the hands to the low back. Slide the hands down towards the ground. Place the hands between your feet. Step your right foot way back behind you. 
lower your right knee down to the ground, maybe lower your right forearm down to the ground, left hand reaches back to grab your right foot. Opposite hand to opposite foot, left hand to right foot. So in this position, your left foot is forward and your right leg is back. And then you're reaching your left hand back to grab your right foot. Your left foot is forward. Uh, note Fatima, bring your left foot forward to a lunge. Yeah, yeah. Good, everyone. Lean back, stretch, twist. Nice, Jeff. Roll your left shoulder back more if you can, Jeff. Release the back foot. Turn to your right side, skandasana, right knee bending. Left leg extending, get low, squeeze your heels, press through your feet. Maybe your bum even taps the ground and you just pick it right back up. We'll come forward, side angle pose. Left hand down, right arm reaches forward. Stretch long through the right side body. Press through your right foot, spin your right thigh back. Straighten your left leg, triangle pose. Circle your right arm up, then reach it forward again. Big stretch, lean back. Wrap your right arm behind your back. Come forward, half moon pose. Lift your right leg up. And then circle that right arm all the way back around again towards the ground over your head. Bend your right knee. Squeeze your heel to your bum. Get really long through the right side body. We'll step back into our goddess squat. Heels in. Toes out. Land softly. Bring your hands to your heart. Get really low, place your left hand down, open your right arm up to the sky, twisting. We'll bring the right fingertips down, bring your right knee down, turn forward, rise up. Anjaneyasana, nearly munch. Left foot forward or right leg down, side plank to the right side. Right hand down, left arm lifted. Step your left foot to your right foot, side plank pose. This time we're going to go to the other side. Please bring your left knee into your chest. Roll over to your left hand. Keep hugging your left knee into your chest. You're on your left hand now. Reach down with your right hand. Grab your left foot and extend your left leg out to the right. If you have to bring your foot to the ground, that's fine too. Just do your best. You always can modify. Pull your toes forward. Step it back. Downward facing dog, optional vinyasa, lower chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or hop to the top of the mat, feet wider than the hands. Inhale, rise up. Interlace your hands behind your back, opposite grip. Squeeze your palms, open your heart. Exhale, fold it in. You can have your knees bent. You're really focusing on the shoulder opening here. But if your legs are extending, they're active. You're not locked out of the knees. Your quads are flexed, your thighs are back. You're from your hips extending out through your legs, out through your heart, up through your knuckles. Stretch the shoulders open. Breathe. Bring your hands to your low back, please. Slide your hands down to the ground. Place your hands between your feet. Step your left foot back behind you. Oh my gosh, I haven't even mentioned I thought all the themes today. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Reach your right arm up and back. Grab a hold of your left foot. And we'll lower the left forearm down if you can. The idea is that we're capable of agency over our actions. We can create, we can maintain, and we can let go when we're ready. The great thing about vinyasa yoga is that these things are happening so fluidly that it really exemplifies that power. So we create a pose, squeeze your heel to your bum, we maintain the pose, pull your heart forward, we dissolve the pose, let the back foot go, pick up your back knee and turn, we create another shape. Turn into that skandhasana, left knee bending. We engage the pose, we maintain it, heels in, thighs wide. 
but then the pose dissolves so that we can enjoy some other action. Side angle pose, right hand down, left arm sweeps forward, press your left thigh back, wrap your right hip under, deep in your lunge, lean back, straighten your right leg, take your left arm up to the sky, triangle pose, tone your thighs, drop thighs to hips, wrap your right hip under, stretch, reach your top arm forward, get really long, lean back, wrap your left arm behind your back, come forward, half moon pose, right leg lifts up, uh, left leg lifts up. Stack your shoulders and your hips as best you can. Then circle the left arm all the way back around. Keep lifting through the left leg. Left fingertips find the ground over to the right. Bend your left knee. You should feel a really big stretch through your left side. Squeeze your heel nice, Amy. Heel the bum. Lean back, look up. Step back, goddess squat. Heels in, toes out, hands to your heart. Get really low, place your right hand down. Open your left arm up, twist. Place your left fingertips down, drop your left knee to the ground, reach both arms up, Anjaneyasana. Press through your feet, squeeze through your glutes. Release the left hand down, open your right arm up, side plank to the left side. Pause, bring your right knee into your chest. Place your right hand down, keep squeezing your right knee into your chest and roll over to your right side. Press through your right hand, reach down with your left hand, grab your right foot. Nice, Amy. Press it out, pull it forward. Good, Sammy. Hips up. That's it. Step it back. Good job. Downward dog. Optional vinyasa. Take it if you feel like you need it. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward lightly, hop the feet wider than the hands, come forward, squat. Place your hands down, lift your hips up, forward fold. Step your right foot way back, lower your right knee down. Look, uh, circle your left arm back, grab your foot, lower your forearm to the ground. We also want to make sure that we're giving just as much intention to each layer of the pose. We're creating the pose, maintaining it, and letting it go with purpose, with intention, and awareness. Release the back foot with control. Don't let the foot snap. Slowly extend your right leg down. Pick up your right knee. Spin your right heel down. Turn to your right skandhasana. Maybe you let your bum tap the ground here. Squeeze heels, lift hips, come forward. Side angle pose. Option to add a bind here. Wrapping the right arm behind your back. Wrapping the left arm under the left thigh. Hands clasp or the bind. Lift your left rib cage. Pull it up away from your left thigh. Doesn't have to lift off of it, but you're energetically lifting. Right thigh back, left hip under. Please roll your right shoulder back and stretch out through your legs. Pull forward through your chest. It's helped to move your shoulder blades down your back to pull your heart forward. Straighten your left leg as best you can. Triangle pose. Keep pulling your heart forward, rolling the right rib cage back. Get that little twisted element here. Left hip under, belly in, shoulder blades down the back. Twist, look up. Unwind the bind, half moon pose. Left hand down, right leg lifts up. Circle the right arm all the way up and around. Fingertips find the ground. Bend your right knee. Squeeze your heel to your bum. Last one of these. Look underneath your right armpit. Make your left leg really strong. Step your right foot back. Heels in, toes out. Got to squat. Bend the knees deeply. Left hand down. Take your right arm up to the sky for this twist. Place the right hand down. Lower the right knee down. Arms up, Anjaneyasana. Side plank pose to the right side. Right hand coming down. Left arm going up. We haven't done a wild thing yet, so if you want to take it now, left foot steps back, reach to your fingertips. Come back around, left hand down, left knee into your chest. Grab your right foot. Sorry, grab your left foot with your right hand and extend it out. Pull the toes forward. Three, lift your hips up, two, 
extend it out. And one, land your left foot to the top of the mat. Hanumanasana, splits. Slide your left foot forward. Slide your right leg back. You can bring your right knee down in half splits. Try not to force it. We create the pose with action and intention. Tone your thighs. We engage the pose to maintain it. Scissor thighs together. Lift your inner right thigh. Wrap your left hip back. Stretch it out, maintaining that action. When you're ready, the pose dissolves with intention. Tuck your back toes. Press through your hands. Drag your left heel back. Downward dog. Nice, my friend. That's not an easy transition, so really good job. Lift up to your toes, bend your knees last time through. Hop your feet wider than your hands. Squat. Inhale, hands down, exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down. Circle your right arm back. Grab your foot, squeeze the heel to your bum. Maybe lower down to your form. You want to create, maintain, and dissolve with equal amounts of intention and awareness and importance. Release the back foot with control. Don't snap it loose. Turn all the way around. Think about how you get into the pose and how you come out of the pose, how they bleed into one another. Heels down, thighs wide. Maybe your butt taps the ground. Push forward, side plank, a uh, side angle pose. Maybe you add the bind here, left arm wrapping behind you, right arm wrapping under, hands clasp, heart pulls forward. Pull your right rib cage up away from your thigh, even if it doesn't lift all the way. Outer right hip is wrapping back. Shoulder blades are moving down towards your back pockets. Belly in, heart forward, shoulders back. Shoulder blades move down the back body for three, two. Straighten your right leg as best you can down triangle pose. Even if you have to just half bind it, do your best. Maybe the front leg isn't extend all the way, do your best. Press the right big toe mound, flex the quad, squeeze your heels together. Left thigh back, right hip under, extend through your heart. Twist it. Release it and walk your right hand forward, half moon pose. Float your left leg up. We really lost it time. So that's what happens when you don't dissolve with intention. You kind of fall and you lose your stability. Circle your left arm all the way forward and around. Get really long through your left side body. Bend your left knee, squeeze your heel to your bum. Look under your left armpit. Step your left foot back, heels in, toes out. Hands to your heart, squat low. Place your right hand down, lift your left arm up to the sky for a twist. Fingertips come down, left knee drops, Anjane Asana. Sweep the arms up, reach back. Last time, side plank, left hand down, right arm to the sky. Step your right foot to your left foot. Step your right foot back, wild thing. Press your feet, lift your hips. When you're ready, place the right hand down. Bring your right knee into your chest. Grab your right foot with your left hand and stretch your right leg out to the left. Very right, keep pulling your right toes forward, forward, forward. Place your right foot down at the top of the mat. Hanumanasana, splits, do the best you can. We'll meet there, right foot forward, left leg back. And all you can do now that you've created the outer form of the pose, is begin to sustain this shape with your knowledge, with your intention. Tone your thighs, scissor thighs together. Lift your inner left thigh, wrap your right hip back. Maintain that action as you stretch. Press out through your feet. Stretch out through your legs. One more breath. We dissolve with just as much intention. Scissor your thighs together. Tuck your back toes. Drag the right heel back. Press through your hands, downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa, last one. Very good job, everybody. We got there, didn't we? Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your left shin forward, pigeon pose. 
stretch out through your legs, lift up into your chest, slide the right leg back, come down onto your forearms. Think of each pose having three layers. We get into the pose, we set the foundation. We engage the pose, we maintain the shape, the integrity, our awareness. Then we dissolve the pose. We dissolve not just the pose itself, but our expectations, our uh, preconceived notions. We dissolve our fear, we dissolve anything that stands in the way of us fully realizing our awakened self. Sit onto your left hip, please, and sweep your right leg all the way forward to the top of the mat. Pick up your left foot, cradle your left leg in your arms. Wrap your right arm around the bottom of your left foot. Wrap your left arm around the outside of your left thigh. And you rock it out. Rock your shin side to side. Like you're rocking a baby to sleep. Okay, listen carefully. We're gonna take this into a fun little kind of stretch here. Take your left heel into both of your hands, or left foot into both of your hands. You're gonna lift your heel up as high as you can towards the crown of your head, and then pull it back in and down, hug it in closer towards you. Go up and down, hug it in. Go up and down, hug it in. Up and down, hug it in. All right, the next time you take it up, keep it there. This might be where you stay. Just bringing your heel to your head. It's kind of a really good stretch for your hip. Make sure you're not pulling at your knee, but you're really feeling your outer hip externally rotate. Otherwise, loop your left arm underneath your left leg. Place your left hand down out to the left. Grab the top of your left foot with your right hand. I'm taking the top of my, uh, the palm of my hand to grab the top of my foot. Then you're gonna kick your left foot into your right hand. Maybe loop the foot, uh, the arm back behind your head. And you can lean out towards your left. Sometimes it's easier to do it with a bent knee, just a little bit less stress maybe. I like with the straight leg here. And you can see my leg is shaking a lot. It's not really wanting to go straight today, so I'm not gonna force it. So I'll work on maintaining the pose with action. Tone your thighs, draw thighs to hips. From your hips, press out the your feet. Look up. And slowly release it. Very nice job, friends. Stretch it out, shake it out. Pull it in. Rock back. Bring your knees into your chest. And rock forward, downward facing up. Right shin coming forward, pigeon pose, right side. Any other variations you're welcome to take? Just a few breaths here. A couple of big breaths, please. This is sort of our peak pose and almost like a cool down in and of itself because we get this nice big stretch to release any pressure hopefully. Holding here, think of what other endeavors that you've embarked upon that have followed this flow of creation. You create something, you maintain it, but over time, as all things do, they must fade, dissolve. And the last two elements of this the steps of creation, is concealment, where we maybe forget something, we forget the rewards or the sensations of it, but having had experienced it, the impression of it is always within us. Like think of it as muscle memory, but for all experiences. And over time, maybe that memory fades or gets concealed, gets covered up. Through time, it, all things will be revealed. We'll 
hopefully have the opportunity to relive the fruit of our labors. And even here, we've done this pigeon pose countless times before. It might have been concealed throughout the practice, buried beneath other movements, but once again, it reveals itself to us. The layers start to overlap. You sit onto your right hip, come up, and sweep your left leg all the way forward. All right. Pick up your right foot, cradle your right leg in your arms like a baby. Wrap your left foot around your right, left, left arm around your right foot, right arm around the outside of your thigh. Flex your toes, push your foot into your arm, sit up tall, and like you're rocking a baby to sleep. Rock it up. Grab a hold of your right foot with both hands. You're just going to pulse the heel up and down a few times, keeping your right thigh wide. Pull your heel up and down. Hug it in. Up and down. Hug it in. Up and down. Hug it in. Take it up. Bring your heel towards your head. You might just stay here. I'm going to work on getting your right hip back, keeping your crown lifted. Or loop your right arm underneath your right leg like you're putting on a backpack or a purse. Then take your left hand, grab the top of your right foot, place your right hand out to the right. This could be where you stay. And you just work on varying degrees of extension. Pressing, 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 pressing. Maybe you just keep on extending until your left arm is behind your head and your right leg is reaching out towards the right. Press through your feet, twist your body. Look up underneath your left armpit. Stretch through both legs if you can for three. So we wanna make sure we're dissolving with just as much intention. So don't just let it go to rebend into your right knee. Move out of it just as carefully as you came into it. Free your right arm. Stretch your right leg out. Fold in. Nice job, my friends. Slowly come down onto your backs, please. You know, let's do this, actually. Come on to, uh, place your hands behind your back, actually. Feet point forward. We're going to take a reverse tabletop. Lift your hips up. Roll the shoulders back. Drop your head back. Lower your butt to the ground. Slide your legs out, lower down onto your back. Big stretch out from your arms to your legs, inhale. And exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Grab your feet, happy baby. Last pose we'll take together. If there's any other movement you want to take before we finish up, you're welcome to it now. Otherwise, let's lie back and relax. Shavasana.
You start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs, take a big breath in. And side out, exhale, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze and rock your way up to seated. With your hands at your heart, please close your eyes. Today we've created this practice we shared with each other. By practicing, we sustain it through our intention, through our breath, through our movement. And now it's time for us to dissolve this practice. But not all is forgotten, not all is concealed. As you move beyond this mat, continue to practice self-care, uh, self-love, self-respect. Continue to move with an open heart and open mind so that you might continue to reveal the practice of yoga in all your endeavors. Let's close with an ohm. Exhale your breath out. Inhale for ohm. Oh. The light in me honors the light within you. May that light shine brightly for us all. Thank you for practice. Thank you so much, everyone. Great job today. As always, very honored to practice with you. If you'd like to reach out and say hello, offer any feedback, any uh, comments, critiques, requests, oh, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out to me, Stephen Arcus Yoga, on Instagram or Facebook. My email is stephen at stephenarcusyoga.com, or you can find me on my website, stephenarcusyoga.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to candidly ask and happy to help. Uh, other than that, we'll see you this weekend, 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday for Yoga Echo Park. Venmo is also Stephen Arcus Yoga, so if you can give, I greatly appreciate it. And if you can't, that's fine. Just keep coming back, bring a friend, tell your neighbors, tell your coworkers, put it on Instagram. Uh, help spread the, the joy of yoga with everyone you know. Thanks, y'all. Have a wonderful day.